Well, thanks for joining me again in my shop. Uh, I'm going to be carrying on with this uh, Kalmar uh, console uh, receiver, uh, which has been um, sitting for a couple of weeks now. Actually, I haven't done anything with it. So the, the next stage to go with it is uh, tuning up the front end part of the AM receiver. The uh, IF uh, was fixed and aligned in the last video. And um, one of the things I noticed right at the end of the last video was the, the sound just just wasn't sounding quite right. So I think we're going to start out by playing this uh, for a little bit and listening to how it sounds. So now this hasn't been on for a bit. So not that I'm that worried, but I'm always a little bit cautious. Um, and of course, I gotta remind myself of the controls now. Okay, let's give it a go here. Okay, here comes the power. It's a very bright light there. Let's give it another go here. Yeah, I think it's just charging up the big capacitors. Quite a bit of restric uh, restriction with a 40 watt light bulb on a large uh, unit like this. But I can tell because I can take a look at this meter and see if it's uh, rising, which it was. You can see the bulb is dulled a little bit. Okay. No problem. Let's put in a nice bulb. Okay, now I have to push one of those buttons. Pretty sure AM is here. One big ugly hum. hum. Oh man, and away we go. Okay, too, too bad I stopped the video there for a moment and discovered that pushing this button made the hum go away, but it also seems to have made everything go away. What is going on? Let's put an antenna on it. This is on the AM, AM radio. Put this antenna on to FM here. There's a man with drunk and a ring call, suggests the perfect place to go. No human being shall ever know that.
fem side's working fairly well, but I'm, I'm already reminded of the... There's the hum again. Holy smokes. Nothing. Nothing from the AM antenna. What is going on here? And I'm moving a tube around up here. This, this tube was knocked to the side. funny about that too. There's a hum coming and going as I move it. So that was the problem. Tube knocked sideways. the heater going up in this tube. Socket on that too. Something. Who knew? The putting railway tracks in the middle of a road was a bad idea. When will we stop the streetcar madness? Not gonna happen in my lifetime. Is wow. It? Okay. So I definitely hear hear something. I think it's called intermodulation distortion. I think. Now we're still running on pretty restricted voltage here. Let's give it the full power and just see if that doesn't clear up, but I highly doubt it. US bacon prices and food bacon prices. 
Well, no, they did. They're both high. This the thing last year only had the whole. Yeah, but the headline says cheaper bacon in the U.S. Now, 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 now. It does now, seem to have cleared up. Recently, what happened was is that uh, the bacon prices have dropped. The retail prices dropped about twenty five percent across the border. Yeah, that's the part I'm not aware of. That's what I'm saying. I didn't know that the Americans had cheaper bacon prices. Which makes no sense. Yes. We should have cheaper bacon. We're the bacon country. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We live. This is hog town. It that's is. Right. And they have, but it, it, it should should spread. Um, yeah, interesting. Do raise the uh, input uh, power part to the full level, and goodbye to that weird distortion. The sound still doesn't sound quite right to me, though. Let's go back to FM now. Research. Plus, the 50-50 jackpot is over $1.4 million. Hurry! Early bird deadline is June 3rd. Order at timeofyourlifelaundry.ca or 1-888-551-1111. Janet, what are all the neighborhood kids doing around your car? Oh, they're just my pit crew. My Adjusto app recognizes how safe I drive and has me on track to save 18% more on my car insurance. I'm pretty much a professional safe driver now. Oh, kids can be a pit crew? You'd be surprised. Timmy, those lug nuts look a little... Drive safe and save up to 25% more with the new Adjusto app from Desjardins Insurance. Download it today or visit getadjusto.com. Certain conditions apply. Mother, our owner, little league soccer coach, mistress of destruction. Well, at least when it comes to ants. She found ants in her home. And in our backyard. So she used Wilson's ant out. Yes, I killed them. All of them? Uh-huh. I decimated their entire colony. Wow. It was ant destruction on a massive scale. And now you don't have an ant problem. Because I killed them. One is out. You've left work behind and are finally able to spend time. Hitting the road. 2015 CBR 300R. Treat yourself to the durability, reliability, and outstanding performance of a Honda. Hurry in to take advantage of financing as low as 1.9%. Plus, for a limited time, the CBR 300R is starting at just $39.99. Some conditions apply. See Honda.ca for details or visit your local Honda Power Sports dealer. Mr. Lube is making it easy for you to save for four days only this Thursday to Sunday. Visit any GTA location and get a standard warranty approved oil change for just $37.99 or $10 off any specialized oil change. Stop by any GTA Mr. Lube and take advantage of this great offer. $37.99 for a standard oil change. No coupon required, no appointment necessary. This Thursday to Sunday, drop in for a fast, friendly, warranty approved oil change. Change. Mr. Lou, take good care. Hey, bikers. I'm Barry Fippen, the founder of the Nalisker Bikers Reunion. I'd like to invite you and your friends to beautiful northern Ontario. Here's just a few reasons why. Hey, 
CarMortgage.ca. They have the lowest rate guarantee. Our mortgage broker said those online rates never. We definitely got 1.99% at BumperMortgage.ca. Fast approval, a standard mortgage, no fees. Bumper has salary brokers, so the rates are rock bottom. Other mortgage brokers are on commission, so no rate discounts for them. A 1.99% mortgage rate? I... Authorities in Iraq say two separate car bombs inside the parking lot of two hotels have killed 10 people in the capital of Baghdad. Nobody has yet claimed responsibility, but Iraq is seeing almost daily attacks that have been frequently claimed by ISIS, the seas that seized largest areas of the country during the blitz last year. 680, it's time 820 just ahead, traffic and weather. All lots of listening. Uh, on the FM side, you get things tuned, put a strong antenna on it, uh, turn down the treble a little bit, because the treble seemed to boost on this uh, receiver, get a little bit shrill, and uh, once you have it set, sounds pretty good. Sounded really quite good. Uh, AM, it's hard to tell, because uh, if you're listening to someone talk, it's a little hard to tell. But that last station, um, really did, didn't sound quite right to me. So Now we still have the last stages of the AM alignment. I can't imagine it would affect that distortion, but even though I've never been wrong about anything before, maybe I'm wrong this time. So we should really complete that that process. So I have to flip on a little bit of equipment here and get things set up for that. Okay, so while I was getting myself ready uh, to do the last stages of the, of the alignment, I thought, you know, I don't think I've tested any tubes in this um, in this set at all, and I think I should test a couple of tubes at this point, just in case that's where the distortion is uh, is coming. So I've, I've gone ahead and tested all the tubes in the uh, set, and uh, I found that they were all okay, except for two tubes. And those are the two output tubes. Here they are. And if you're familiar with output tubes, you've already spotted something. All this black. Black buildup. That's inside the tube. And what that uh, suggests to me, anyway, is high mileage. This tube has a lot of hours on it. It's all black up in the top here. Now this one, tested just as poor, uh, it has a little bit of black buildup in it, but nothing like this other two. Both of them tested poor. Now, fortunately, I've got two good replacements, which I put in. And uh, let's play the set now and see if, by some chance, the distortion that's been bothering me has gone away. Down. There we go. So we'll bring it up on restricted power first. I noticed in my tube tester that these big output tubes take a long time to uh, heat up and become conductive. Antenna connected. Let's go on full power. Was 
that? That's the output uh, transformer we were hearing there, if you heard that. That wasn't coming out of speakers. What, uh, what has happened here? Oh, okay, hold on. A couple of speaker wires have popped off. Wishing they'd gone to Pier 1 first. From lanterns to dinner, patio umbrellas to furniture. All outdoor is up to 25% off. Now through Sunday, May 31st at Pier 1 Imports. Mr. Lube is making it easy for you to save. For four days only, this Thursday to Sunday, visit any GTA location and get a standard warranty approved oil change for just $37.99 or $10 off any specialized oil change. Stop by any GTA Mr. Lube and take advantage of this great offer. $37.99 for a standard oil change. No coupon required, no appointment necessary. This Thursday to Sunday, drop in for a fast, friendly warrant. Wow, you know, it just doesn't sound quite right to me. I mean, it's not terrible. Let's go to AM here. Oh, we're back to the hum. Same too. It smells like something's very hot in here too. I certainly feel those. They're very, very hot. 150 degrees C on one of these. Well, get rid of the hum here. What exactly is doing that? Thousands of others are ready to take over your current lease. Lease 
Ghostbusters.com. Get out of belief and into a great deal. Everyone saves money. The alternative to spending too much. Leasebusters.com. GP Bikes is the GTA's award-winning choice for the Caddy Drive and KTM motorcycles. Taking... Just does not sound right to me. It's receiving well. thing to do is to go through and uh, check voltages and you know it has been a few weeks since I worked on this uh, I can't remember everything I did and I think uh, you know it's 50 videos I'm not gonna go back through them I think I'll probably do some retesting here unfortunately but uh, something is not right and uh, I really do need to track it down especially AM sounds just doesn't sound right few voltage checks I think are the right thing to do. Well, I've just finished checking uh, all the uh, plate voltages, the screen voltages, the grid voltages, and the cathode voltages on the output tubes and everything checks out just fine. So I don't see any problem with the uh, voltages throughout the uh, throughout the set. So tubes are good now, voltages are good, still sounds a little crappy, uh, could that be what's left of the alignment doing that, I just, I just don't think so, but, uh, I can't find anything else to explain it, so I think we uh, carry on with completing the AM alignment, I'm going to go back and touch up the FM alignment too, and uh, we'll see what we get. <laughs> 